Jacob, there's been a lot of talk about affordable housing this year. What's your plan? We've lost about 10,000 units of affordable housing just over the last 15 years alone. Because when we give a developer a subsidy to build affordable housing, it comes along with the requirement that it remain affordable for a certain number of years. You know, usually that's 10, 15, 20 years. But then after that 15 to 20 years is up, they can flip it back to market rate. So we're on this constantly revolving treadmill of, of trying to uh, build more affordable housing while we're losing that which we have, and uh, we're falling behind. Everybody has the right to live in a great city, and very quickly that's becoming not the case. We've got rents that are skyrocketing out of control. Uh, we have demand that is well surpassing supply, and people are being displaced. They're being displaced from some of the communities that they've grown to love, some of the communities that they've invested their time and money in. I think there are, there are multiple issues there. I mean, clearly supply is one, because there is not enough affordable housing uh, for, you know, to for the, the number of people who need it. So I think that's clearly an issue from a supply side. There is a huge gap, I mean, not just in Minneapolis, but I mean, across the country between uh, home ownership rates between people of color and uh, in European Americans. And, and that is tied to a long history of disenfranchisement and redlining, um, you know, in all, in all these historical things in our country that was not allowed um, everybody to participate equitably in the economic system that is in place. We have a long history in our city of segregating people, of segregating socioeconomic backgrounds and races, uh, and you know, we need to push back on that. Uh, we can't just continue to push all of the affordable housing, all of the Section 8, all of the low-income housing to North Minneapolis. I believe that affordable housing should be in every single neighborhood in our city. How do we continue to work on the realities of uh, racism, uh, underemployment, unemployment, education, and a lot of these other structural pieces that contribute to that? Yeah, that contribute to why people are in the position uh, where they can't they can't afford the market. Uh, is the simple supply and demand market economics. You know, we have a really cool thing that's happening right now in our city, which is a lot of people want to live here. But when you have demand that is sky high and you don't have the supply to keep up with it, the supply of housing units, the prices continue to go up. So quite simply, we do need more housing in this city. We do need to add density, especially on underutilized parcels. The struggle there is that you know, the systems that are in place for people to buy a house, you know, operate a certain way and um, to change, you know, to change some of those is a big deal. And so, you know, it's difficult when you look at the banking system and other systems, you know, how you get a mortgage, all, all that work. I mean, I think there are some, in, there's some innovative work being done, the land trust and, you know, other models that, you know, really um, set up to help people get through. But, you know, you know, how we can help people, you know, navigate the system, um, provide support, whether that be monetary, whatever, to help them get over that hump to buying a house. I think mean, we, we need to do that. We need to continue to try to think outside of the box of what those things are. But it's still a, it's a big challenge, you know, because it, this stuff is ingrained. It's, there's a significant number of people who need housing at like 30% below median, which is really the hardest place uh, to do work. Um, so, so as we're you know thinking about affordable housing, I think we have to think about the total spectrum, and we have to think about you know social forces, economic forces, historical forces that are all continuing to be at play and impact people's ability uh, to have safe, uh, affordable, sound housing.